Oh yeah. This video is gonna get weird. For science. What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I came across a post from Mr. Joe Rogan. He was talking about the Biden administration's decision to keep the, the John F. Kennedy assassination documents still classified, even though they were supposed to be released, like, right now. The JFK assassination, of course, has probably spawned more conspiracy theories than any other event in U.S. history. But Joe Rogan posted this, which is apparently the bullet that killed Kennedy, which Joe Rogan has some doubts on. He expressed it in a way that only Joe could, which is, this fucking bullet never hit a goddamn thing. Fact. Now, I saw this post, and my first thought was, yeah, it doesn't look like that fucking bullet hit a goddamn thing. Huh. And with today being the 58th anniversary of the JFK assassination, I figured I'm curious to see the answer. Maybe we could figure out this whole magic bullet thing together. So immediately, I bought a Model 38 6.5 Carcano rifle, which is exactly what Lee Harvey Oswald used in the assassination, allegedly. And I uh, hit up my guys over at Ballistic Dummy Labs. So now we have, well, well, now we're gonna get weird with it. We're gonna try to see exactly what a 6.5 Carcano fired out of a Model 38 Carcano looks like after it goes through the closest thing we can legally get to a human head. All right, real quick, let me clarify a couple of things. I know what you're thinking. The magic bullet in Joe Rogan's post isn't the one that hit the skull, but the actual bullet from the photo is pretty much an impossible shot to replicate because I think it went in through Kennedy's like back, out through like the neck, collarbone area, and into Connolly in two separate places. And that shot, <laughs> even if we had all the stuff from Ballistic Dummy Labs to replicate that shot, to get the bullet to go to a perfect trajectory to hit everything the way it would have, it, damn near impossible. But the data we can get is what the bullet that went through the back of Kennedy's skull looked like before it hit whatever solid object it hit that caused the bullet to fragment into multiple pieces. Then we can take that and compare it to the bullet that supposedly was completely undamaged after having gone through two people. Now, for those of you who don't know, while well, bullets usually have a, uh, a, a metal jacket that's a little tougher, they have a soft lead core. And so anything that hits a hard target usually deforms in some way, shape, or form. And I agree with Joe's assessment, that bullet doesn't look like it hit a goddamn thing. So what is the softest thing you can shoot and still capture the bullet? The answer is water. So we're gonna try shooting it in water, see if we can capture the round and compare it. So today on Demonetized Mythbusters, let's see if we can disprove the magic bullet. So this is the water we have set up. We have these uh, water cooler jugs of water set up so that uh, the round can pierce one, go through the other. I don't know how many it's gonna take to stop, and I figure they're gonna start diverting off uh, once it goes through a couple, which is why I've got these over here on either side that way. We have a maximum chance of catching the bullet because you know bullets do weird things when they start you know they could veer left right whatever uh so we put two uh kind of staggered in the rear so just in case it diverts left or right we could still hopefully be able to catch them hence the kind of uh, phallic looking arrangement of the uh the water jugs so um yeah i just thought about it i just made a, a dick out of jugs we're very mature here. So this is gonna be our bullet in question. This right here is the 6.5 Carcano. Pretty, pretty hefty little rifle round. Uh, the ammo that we're using today is Full Metal Jacket PPU, for whatever that's worth. But, but to, <laughs> I need to go home. But to show you the actual power of 6.5 Carcano, I'm gonna load this thing up, and we're gonna do what we do best, show you with White Claw penetration testing. Going all out with a full-size white claw today, because I love you guys. Testing our prop gun in three, two, one. I think it works. Now this is meant to demonstrate the amount of force that we're gonna be putting into that ballistic dummy lab's head, trying to replicate an actual event in American history. And if you think that this is kind of a, you know, bridge too far and it's a little going a little out there uh, kind of tasteless ki uh, kind of content you know you're you're probably right at the end of the day but if you're as curious as I am to see what happens uh, then I like you you might want to stick around and subscribe let's go catch the bullet yeah let's see if we can't uh, catch our 6.5 Carcano round alrighty three two one
Now I really just have to take a leak. So talk about a fucking magic bullet. So it went through one, two, three, and ended in the fourth. As you can see, clear as day, it is in the bottom of this water jug. And we're, we'll pull it out so we can actually take a look at it. But this isn't leaking. What the fuck? So on, on further inspection, I think what happened is it was, uh, it keyholed and went in sideways here. But that is so bizarre. It's just, it just kind of resealed. I guess it was just so little energy by the time it got to the fourth one, which is, means we have enough water jugs for this. I'm excited. We're gonna do some real science. Ah, there you go. <laughs> that is our perfectly preserved 6.5 Carcano, and already it looks more fucked up than the one in the photo. It's interesting, not by much, but you can clearly see the divots and such. That's super neat. And I know you're gonna say, this isn't just water, it's got all the plastic and whatnot in it, but come on, that is about as close as you can get to just shooting water. So up next, let's try to replicate the real shot. But first off, something I didn't know, uh, just doing a little adulting here, is that water is fucking expensive. And because there's no way in shit this video is getting monetized, we just want to give a quick thank you to our sponsor, Groove Life, for allowing us to do this sort of backyard science. Groove Life is a new sponsor of the channel, and they make all sorts of stuff from these uh, magnetic belts to these silicon rings, meant for kind of more outdoorsman stuff. And my God, does that look terrible now that I look at it? I still have all the fake blood on my hand. I don't know, if you're more of an outdoorsy guy or you work around heavy equipment like a mill or a lathe or something and you don't want metal ring getting snagged and lose your hand, I definitely recommend checking out Groove Life. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the links down in the description in the pinned comment. We appreciate their support of the channel. Now we're gonna try to replicate this shot to the best of our ability and thankfully because, you know, this was a bit of a high profile case, there is a very extensive autopsy with a lot of helpful imagery and things as far as exactly where he was hit. So we're gonna try to replicate that. It's not gonna be 100%, but we're gonna get it as close as we can. This is That's kind of what we're all about in this bit. You know, this is obviously not a perfect stand-in, but it is, like I said, the closest thing you can legally get without raiding a morgue. Okay, so the way that we have this centered, uh, I've got the head offset a little to the left. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, get off there, fly, it's not for you. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is so if we shoot a little on the right, try to, again, just get it as close as we can within reason, um, and try to go for the upper right quadrant there, it's going to keep going straight into the center of the water bottles. Now, there's still a chance it's going to divert right, so we have our extra spare. We have our four water bottles here to try to catch the bullet exactly like we did last time. We also have the one that uh, caught the last bullet that's still mostly full, so uh, in case it does divert super hard right, we have an extra chance of trying to preserve and uh, and catch the bullets so i have zero predictions i just hope this works now i know some people are going to be saying oh the actual shot was from like 50 to 100 yards away uh this is way too close well the original shot was also taken with a carcano that had a slightly longer barrel so i think it all works out plus i want to make sure that we get it as close as possible so this is like i said about as, about as close as we can get so uh let's just see what happens we have our full metal jacket, 6.5 Carcano. All right, let's see what we can do. Giving Lyndon B. Johnson a job in three, two, one. It just feels really icky. So let's check out our aftermath. Um, got their, uh, our entrance there, our exit out the front. I am pretty sure that's a condom. That's not historically accurate. It actually cracked. The skull fragmented pretty close to what the diagram said. So that's interesting. Um, sorry, Johnny. So it absolutely but fucked uh, this water jug. Uh, this has completely ripped the fuck apart. So we have entrance here, exit here, out the rear. And then the weirdest fucking thing happened. I, I don't know if it diverted too hard or what, but if you look here, there's like an entrance on the second jug 
it may have bounced. I don't know, because you can see, I think it was, I think it already keyholed. Like, uh, keyholing, by the way, is when the bullet goes sideways during flight, so it hits and it can look like a keyhole, never mind. But if you look here, it looks like the bullet impact. I have blood all over my hands. The bullet looked like it hit sideways. I don't know if it bounced and just it's chilling here on the fucking, I, I don't know. So we don't have a bullet to compare. That just won't do. Yeah, don't worry about him. You're gonna do great. So thankfully last time, not all of our jugs got destroyed. So what we did this time is we set it up. We got a full jug, full jug, full-ish, half full jug. And then back here uh, over on the right side, which is I think where it diverted. If I had to guess again, I think it, it diverted right. So we've got, uh, this one moved up a little further. So just in case this goes through here, hits at a weird angle and it diverts outward, it should get caught by this. And we got just a couple of, we got an empty back here. Uh, just to kind of visualize the flight of the bullet, if nothing else, if it does go through. But we're gonna try again to catch this thing. Fingers crossed. All right, take two. Please catch this bullet. Three, two, one. Now I'm soaked. Oh, dear God. That just feels so wrong. Unfortunately, we do not have the bullet captured and uh, we're kind of running thin in the water bottle department. Um, so, we can't give up. To HEB. Got more water. So we've got a uh, full water bottle, full water bottle. Got this one off to the right side now, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to use this to capture even if it does veer right. We've got this, we've got another full water bottle behind it. We've got something that uh, we consolidated a couple. This one's full now behind. We got a third, just in case something weird fucking happens. Got one off on the left, it's mostly full. And then we've got these back here as a Hail Mary. I don't know, emotional support. I really don't know any other places this bullet can go. So uh, I think we're gonna use the first head because I think the skull is most intact on that one. We're gonna try it again. And uh, I don't know, let's give it another shot. Who would have thought, who would have thought I would need three heads today? See, unless I hit in the exact same spot, uh, we're gonna be going through still skull fragments and uh, probably more so on the way out as well. So we will give it a shot. All right, just showing you again, we've got our full metal jacket, 6.5 Carcano. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. Three, two, one. I gotta pee again. That was about as dead on as you could get. As you can see that second one already. That was, that was, that was dead nuts on. First jug completely destroyed. Second jug again, perfect hit. And uh, it exited with some force because it just ripped this white ass open. I don't know specifically where it came out. I think probably right around here. That one, that one's dead. This jug, pissing. Okay, yeah, so this jug's pissing. But I think we've got a bullet. Come on, here we go. Son of a gun. We've got our 6.5 Carcano. Interestingly enough, this one's not even as fucked up as the first one, the one that only hit the water. So if you look at the base here, you know the base is clearly squeezed, this thing was uh, tumbling a little bit, and you can see it hooks off to the left a little bit now, giggity. It did deform a little bit, but uh, all in all, this bullet's actually in better shape. It just goes to show bullets do weird shit sometimes, and ballistics is not exactly an exact science when you're talking about real world stuff. I don't think anybody can argue we didn't skull fuck our target here. Uh, my attempt to pick it up, I broke it again. 
it's just falling apart now. Uh, this is absolutely disgusting. So we had a new entrance wound, uh, new entrance hole, uh, enter, entered a uh, fresh skull, and then uh, we had another exit on the other side, went through more bits of skull, and then into our water to try to catch it uh, as least damaging to the projectile as we could. And it looks like we succeeded. So looking side by side, this one was the first one, as you can see, especially right there in the middle. Um, it is actually more fucked up than this one, which, if you look, actually still kind of rolls. It is deformed and it is twisted a little bit, but not nearly as much as I was expecting, especially since this one was the one that was caught by only the water. Well, guys. I had a lot of fun with this video, I'm not gonna lie. This one uh, this was really cool and honestly kind of surprising. So what do you think? The bullet in the photo, do you think it did what they, uh, the official story claims that it did? And what does this test uh, do to impact your thoughts on what happened? I know a lot of people have a lot of different theories. I'm curious to hear yours. It's uh, definitely a controversial part of American history. Not surprising. And uh, there's, there's a lot of theories. So what do you think happened? And does this prove or disprove any of those theories? Let me know down in the comments. More importantly, if you like videos like this and you want to see more of them, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Join the hashtag AKG notification squad. Comment in the first hour. You can win some cool merch. YouTube, this was done for educational purposes. Please do not deplatform me. We're just trying to do some backyard science. And for the rest of you sexy YouTube mother lovers, I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Oh, we have, we caught it. We caught the bullet. Fuck yeah. This shit is just pissing. Talk about an actual magic bullet. It is here in the bottom of this, of this milk jug, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. That right there. The forbidden scusi. What is the, where, where's the least sketchy place I could throw this away? I'm just gonna leave this in like the fucking garbage can outside the Valero. See what happens.